Hello guys, welcome to this uh, video. So we're going to look at uh, how to create bubble typography and have the reflections of uh, a piece of work behind this this uh, the type uh, to create some kind of like bubble effect. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is work in uh, Illustrator and what we need to do is create the SVG we're going to be working with for the typography. So what we need to do is import the uh, some kind of graphic or work on some kind of graphic within uh, after uh, sorry Illustrator. Um, so uh, yeah, what I've been working on is this piece here. This is something I just created in, in Procreate on my iPad. Um, <clears throat> this is the final piece for it, but I need to make it into an SVG. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to scale this up slightly and it will be the same process for your graphic as well. So you need to image trace, we're going to go high fidelity photo and then click OK. This will uh, create our outlines in which will allow us to understand what the graphic is looking like when we export into Blender. We're then going to click expand and then we're going to go to ungroup and we're just going to delete the white background. This might be different for what your graphic looks like, um, but we're just going to work with this and then we're going to go to this little button here and this will group everything so we know what we're working with. Then we're going to scale quickly, so we scale up and we're just going to export this as an SVG. So you need to go to file, then go to export, and then export as, and then you're going to have to find a uh, little drop down and show where it says, and export the uh, as an SVG. Okay, so once you've opened up Blender, uh, we need to import the uh, SVG graphic. So we need to file, then go to import, and then go to scalable vector graphics. Once you click this, you need to find the SVG and uh, it should load straight in. Okay, so as you can see, the uh, graphic has loaded in, but it will load in very small, so we need to scale this up. So highlight this with the left click and press S on your keyboard to scale and drag outwards. It doesn't need to be too much big, just so we can understand what it looks like. We're then gonna rotate it and put on the right axis ready to work on. So we're gonna press uh, R on the keyboard, then X, then type 90, R, Z, 90 and then click enter um, and that will basically put it on the uh, front axis which allows us to view it easily okay so now we're going to uh, make this these uh, extrude so we're going to go down to the curves the object data properties right here and then we're going to go to geometry and then where it says extrude we just extrude it by what you think is is acceptable so I'm going to go for 0 0.03 it's a bit thicker than the last project piece I did but I, because I'm going for this blob bubble type, um, I think it's appropriate to, to do this. Um, but yeah, just be cautious about um, how much you, you extrude the, the graphic. So I'm going to do the same for all of these pieces. And then we're going to highlight these, and then we're going to object, convert to mesh. And once we've done that, we need to select one of the pieces of, of graphic and press Command J that will group the whole of the graphic as a, as a group. Okay, we're now going to um, basically uh, remove this texture. So you can just remove all of these and it will go white. And then we're gonna go to objects, set origin, uh, geometry to origin. Just like that. So now we have it in the, the center of our axis. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is go to the modifier section. We're gonna go to add modifier, then we're gonna go to remesh. This will create this kind of look, but this is not what we're going for. So we're gonna re resize the voxel size, um, basically to re-topologize the graphic. So we're gonna use this slider. Please be very careful about um, using this. Um, the lower the the number, the higher the um, the topology will be. So obviously, it'll be very intense on your computer. So please be careful about how you use this. Uh, I'm just trying to get enough to get that night tick in. I think that is probably enough. I'm going to risk it. That that's enough for me. And then I'm going to click apply. So we're going to hit the drop down arrow and then click apply. And we're going to right click shade smooth. And then we're going to go over to uh, this top where it says object mode and we're going to go into the sculpt mode. 
So this is where we're going to create this bubble effect and what we're going to basically do here is exercise some kind of smoothing all across all of the edges. So the brush we're going to be using is the smooth tool here and we're going to basically go over the edges uh, to create this smooth look. Uh, I'll let you guys do that. Please take your time and don't rush this process. Um, the longer you spend on this, the better the um, the final outcome will be. Okay, so this is mine finally completed. Um, I'm pretty pleased with it. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is set up uh, the lighting and camera for this scene. So we're going to press 0 on the keyboard to show the camera and we're going to press N and then go to view and then go to camera to viewport. We're then going to like basically position this to a front axis. Um, so we're going to select the camera in uh, in the view layer properties section here and we're going to then go to the uh, object properties and we're going to basically put these back to a front facing so we can click zero on here put 90 back into here we're going to press zero and then zero and then that should give us a straight axis um, for where we want so just position the camera basically so we've got a clear view um, and that's it really okay so now we're going to make the uh, very simple glass texture uh, for this graphic so we're going to go to the uh, shading tab we're going to click new and we're basically then going to delete this principal bsdf okay so the first thing we're going to uh, get is we're going to press shift a and we're going to search for a mix shader and then we're going to pair the mix shader into the surface we're then going to grab a glossy uh, bsdf and we're then going to pair that to the shader and then we're going to search for a glass bsdf and plug that into the other shader we're then going to search for layer weight and pull the Fresnel into the factor and then you basically want to set this to 0 0.1 and we're also going to I think that's everything I need to be honest uh, so this is a very simple glass texture please make sure you also that you're in a in cycles not a, a EV um, and when we have loaded a HDR in we're gonna go to, we'll do that now quickly um, so you want to click new and you want to click where it says the yellow dot and go to environment texture and then you want to go on to online to search HDR if you haven't got one already and download a HDR to install into here uh, I'm just going to show you what it looks like for reference this isn't going to be what we're going to be using but this is letting the giving the right impression of what, of what I wanted to to create if we press zero on the keyboard as well we'll show our front view uh, I'm actually going to move the camera a few inches to the left. Uh, there we go. Okay, so I've just took this photo um, for one of the pieces, or well, this piece here, uh, in fact. Um, obviously, because it's Nike, and I was like, right, I'll take a, a photo of some shoes, basically. And uh, this will be part of the graphic. Um, it's important, probably, to get something that's light and something that can reflect the um the basically this is going to be used to reflect onto the bubble typography um so be cautious about what you're taking photos of if it's dark it's going to leave a dark effect if it's bright it's going to leave a bright effect etc etc so please be careful and consider about what your uh your image is going to be for this back piece okay so this is um the final graphic that I'm going to be using so I've basically put a few bits together so uh, it's just graphics from Illustrator that I've made the original uh, uh, SVG I've put in here obviously the photograph with a plastic texture over the top 
Um, but this is completely up to you. This is depending on what project you're going to be using it for. But this is what I'll be using uh, as a as a light source to uh, illuminate the the bubble type. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is import the graphic, uh, which you're going to be presenting the typography on top of. So I'm going to go Shift A. Uh, also, sorry, recommend. Um, this is actually a plugin that you might not actually have installed. So you need to go to Edit Preferences. Go to add-ons and search images as planes and it should say import slash export just make sure this is te uh, ticked and it will install so when you go to image go to image image as planes and then import the graphic you've just made okay so my graphic is imported and what i now need to do is set this up so it's where i want it, the graphic to be in correlation to the typography so i'm going to press three on the keyboard to get a side view I'm then going to press S on my keyboard and scale it to roughly where I believe the graphic will be shown okay so as you can see this is looking about right and where I want it to be the only problem is obviously I'm not going to be able to have the final graphic poster um, presented like this because it will just look uh, it's going to be difficult to remove the background etc so what we need to do is basically make this graphic invisible so when we render it out it's still using it as reflections within the glass but it won't be shown as a final re within the final render so we need to select the graphic we then need to do the um, object properties and then go to shadow capture and basically that it needs to be checked and as you can see the graphic disappears um, but the reflections Another thing as well, you might see that there's a slight um, reflection or sorry, a slight shadow that appears behind the graphic. This might seem quite normal, all right, but we want to remove this. So I've selected this uh, the typography, gone back to the object properties and gone to visibility, ray visibility and switched off shadow. As you can see, that fixed all that problem and gets rid of that uh, noisy grain behind. So as well as my screen's gone black for the background, what I've done is also put it in as a HDRI. So we had a HDRI installed for testing and I've just put the night poster in as well as a HDR. So I think that's everything and now we just basically need to click render. So we're going to check a few render properties and then we're ready to go. So if we go to uh, the export file we need to make sure that it's the highest res that's possible so I'm going to render it out at 3000 pixels by 3000 pixels and as you can see the cam as we're viewing it through the camera view you should be in press 0 to view through the camera view um, it's getting everything in shot that we need we're then also going to go where it says compression and set that to 0 one quick thing before you render the image, we do need to have it as a transparent background. So if we go to the uh, camera properties here and then go down to where it says film and then go where it says transparent and just checkbox that and it should be easy to work with when we go back into Photoshop or wherever you're editing your photo. Now I'm going to basically drag this graphic now straight over. So I'm just going to grab it from my finals and drag it straight into Photoshop. And then mess around with a bit of scaling to get roughly whereabouts you were. Uh, it doesn't really matter because it's reflection for me. It's not really the problem. Um, so I'm going to go for something like this possibly. Uh, which is looking great. It's getting the reflections. It's also showing through the graphic because we exported it as a transparent background. So it's actually like noticing what... Um, what is behind the the typography as well which is great and I'm just gonna make a few tweaks on uh, the lighting etc but I think that's everything I need to show you guys I uh, hope this was helpful and if it was make sure you subscribe and leave a like and I'll see you guys in the next next tutorial video